Okay, it's quiet now. Yeah. So here's the deal. The the people who are choosing, uh, we had Dan the Enigma go and choose Iron GM 3D Koal, and Poltergeist opted for Dana, which means that I was able to choose. And you know what? We're going with something that's a little bit of a classic Kuso game, except with a little bit of a twist, because we're playing Gluck the Thunder Warrior. Now, we've seen Thunder Warrior in the past for Cusa Grande. We haven't seen Gluck the Thunder Warrior. It's just a sprite change, essentially, and I guess it was released in Spain? Something like that? Something like that? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, as a matter of fact, Dan the Enigma is going to be playing, and Corn Dan will be our zombie for the match. It's been a while since we've had a zombie. But I it's, know. It, it always excites me because, Corn Dan, for some reason, you actually do well when nothing is on the line. <laughs> well, because you guys could be like trash games that somehow work. Like, that way. I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, what's up with that? But it's true. <laughs> so, Dan. Here's the deal. We do, by default, know Dan will be moving on to round two. Poltergeist will be uh, heading over to the loser's bracket due to the 50 billion re, like, rescheduling stuff that we had here. Uh, that is fine, though, because I know that he's, he's been having some issues with moving and such. So we're going to go ahead and have Glitch or not glitch which Dan the Enigma battling our dear Corn Dan in this video game. What happens if Corn Dan wins? Nothing. Like nothing. What happens if Dan wins? Nothing. Except yeah, we're, we're... he gets to be you proud. Be, you get to watch me suffer and and talk about it live on stream. Yeah, so let me go ahead and oh, find no. a skull and crossbones real quick because we need to denote that you are a true zombie and not one of those sham zombies. I am not a sham zombie. I mean, you could be. But I'm not. How would I know? I'm only I'm only a quality zombie right here. You're only a quality zombie? Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. My uh, OBS 2 is... Uh... Being done. Oh, yes. Okay. Give me just one quick little second here. And I mean, it was just working like a minute ago. Thank you, OBS. And I mean, of course, now it's working again. Because. Because OBS is dumb. Thank you, OBS. You know, it happens to the best of us. It's... Oh, I remember how I have to fix this. Here's the deal. Whenever I try to put a skull in here, it gets dumb. So I have to make some adjustments. Corn Dan, you're making me break everything because of... I know. Because you're a zombie. Well, that's how these things go. Could you? It's I'm the worst. I know. <laughs> well, everybody, we are getting pretty dang close to getting this match. Oh, I, I got the crossbones. Okay, we don't just have a skull. Don't worry. I, I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. I know how to make a zombie. Are you sure? It's been a while. Let me, let me go ahead. This is something you should ask your parents about, Corn Dan. What, how to make zombies? Yeah. I, I mean, I've watched Resident Evil. I know how. Oh, jeez. I'm okay. I'm glad that's what you watched. Uh, let's see. I'm almost there, Corn Dan. We're getting close. say that conversation could have gone many ways yeah yeah it could have yeah 
Okay, come on, come on, Thunder Warrior. So, Corndan, from what I'm aware of, you have not played this game before. I have not, but I did play a whole bunch of other games that you wanted to give out. Oh yeah, that's why we've got this one. I mean, this is a fun... I, I actually really enjoy this game. Doesn't mean anybody else is going to enjoy it, but I do. I actually really liked playing it uh, the the amount that I did before. So we'll we'll go ahead and see how you two are able to deal with it. Uh, I I think that this is actually a pretty kind gift to both of you. Corn Dan, I was trying to be nice. Are you excellent? Yeah, so nice. No, I've learned. Never judge a game based off of what I like. <laughs> because that gets me in trouble. <laughs> okay. So I am just checking right now to see if they are ready to begin because I certainly am. I want to get started soon. Luckily, the game is relatively linear, Corndan, so it won't be too difficult to track. And we will get to see if you are awesome. Are you ready to start? Um... I don't know. <laughs> we One saw second. your face there for a second. Uh, oh, okay. I, I... My, my camera is dying, and so I'm trying to try to make it work while I'm sitting here. Not your camera no right so i'll just uh. play with it later <laughs> so yes i am ready to go okay i'm gonna ask you to reset when i say go everybody get all of your sprites ready if you have any weird aliens or grapes that they stand on or what else thunder lightning thunder. and warriors sure. thunder warriors and aliens then go ahead and spam away because i am doing the countdown best of luck to dan best of luck to corn dan oh my gosh it's the battle of the dans which dan do i root for I don't know. Maybe the one who's not dead. <laughs> oh, I'm not dead. He's not dead either. Oh, well, good. As soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. Uh, oh, the loading is a little bit annoying for each stage. There's Just... so many cutscenes. Just so everybody knows, you're going to see this a lot. Probably. Yes, they they will. Uh, by the way, there will be flashing people who are watching. Just know this is NES and unlicensed NES with that. And there we go. Dan is working on figuring out some of the controls. Corn Dan, you... Uh, you are our zombie, basically the one thing keeping or er, Dan the Enigma uh, company in this game. Yeah. yeah. So, what are your thoughts? You already died. Uh, it's it's slippery controls. Okay. Um, I'm not even sure if I can hit these birds. You can, I think. Um, just because it's really hard to... Like, and I don't know how many attacks this hand takes. Like, I can hear... I can hear, like, the sound of, like, what, he, what I think is doing something. Yeah. And, and then I'm going to, you know, miss the jump anyway and die. I mean, that happens, yeah. It's not exactly uh, the best video game in the world. I mean, it didn't win any prizes... Uh, it well, didn't even get released. Oh, hey, I killed the I killed the bird on the rebound. 
Oh yeah, I think when you die, you do cough blood. That's kind of gross. Uh, yeah, the, the transition whenever you die and the game has to reload the screen uh, is going to get tiring for both you and Dan the Enigma pretty quickly. With that said, I, I think both of you right now are just in the state of just trying to figure out how to do anything, figuring out how to move. And Dan the Enigma figured out one crucial tech, which I'm not going to spoil for you, Corn Dan. What? How, how to high jump? Uh, something. Corn Dan doing the lightning bolt. We've seen that on both screens for now at this point. And Corn Dan did the double jump. The double jump, sort of similar to Ozzy and Drix, is a little bit stupidly precise. And I don't know why. Ooh, Actually, it, it doesn't feel so bad. Like, oh, maybe it's not that precise. Okay, double jump better than Ozzy and Drix. It is. Ooh, grabby hand got you. <laughs> That grabby hand is a is a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to remember where the game was originally made. I can do a little bit of research, but apparently, uh, the sprite change that you are all witnessing here right now was for Spain. Uh, I guess they. Here's the deal, okay? Japan's like, no, we're not publishing this, and. Spain's like, heck yeah, give it to us! So I they mean, got that it. So Alright, those grabby hands take, like, way too many. Yeah, honestly, they take a lot of hits. I'm personally not sure if they're even worth killing, but then again, it just they, killed you. They, they, right, that one's worth. The other one's probably not. That one is because it follows you around and kills you. Gotcha. Now, I do know that there are plenty of items to get in this game, uh, and they can be pretty helpful in many circumstances. As far as I'm aware, though, Corn uh, Den hasn't really gotten any of the items at this point, or maybe I've you've not, just... I've, I've broken boxes and not gotten anything, and I am not risking... I'm not risking... Well, I wonder if... I could have, I could have gotten that one. You could have. If, if, if I had been faster on the double jump. Oh, watch out for grabby hand, Dan. The, yeah, that, like, honestly, using a lightning just to try to kill this hand is a good idea. Took two lightnings, though, and Dan is dead. Also, I like how there is, like, no consistency with the volume on this game. I'm gonna see if I can get this. You gotta gotta break the bubble. Apparently, apparently you gotta break it like eight times. Something like that. So, you know, th this game was actually uh, not really well known at all. I mean, it makes sense. They, it was developed, uh, but a company didn't really have the opportunity to sell it. You know, it was unlicensed. It was made by Micro Genius, from what I can see, uh, originally. All right, I'm upset that when you get hit, you lose your uh, your power up. I mean. Video games, Corn Dan, you gotta be perfect. You're not perfect, you're not gonna you're not gonna be successful, you know? Uh oh. That's ah! true. Ah! Look at I this point time, laugh. it's not like Oh oh no, I'm laughing, right? I'm doing all this stuff because it's fun now. I don't have to worry about how far I make it. I'm out of the tournament anyway. Well, you never were in the tournament, right? Well, that's that's how I know I, I'm not going to progress in the tournament. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. So at this point, yes, we know uh, Dan the Enigma is going to be moving on to the bracket. 
However, we decided that we're gonna make him play anyway. Uh, Corn Dan is here, being our zombie, a very helpful sport, you know. It's just not fair to the other players if uh, Dan doesn't get to play another beautiful game here. You know, I actually really like the music in this game. It's pretty good. I can get behind it. So from what I can see, this was made by Micro Genius. Uh, they also made a game called Venice Beach Volleyball. Uh, and I have no idea what that is. Probably about volleyball. Well, that's what you're hoping. I mean, that would be good. Ah, uh, they also made the game Puzzle. That is another game that we had on Cusa Grande in one of uh, the gauntlets, actually. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm learning more about this company. I like them. Uh-oh. Well. I think Dan may have actually either finished a level or gotten a bonus. Yeah, people who are watching this are really not fans of the attack. And Corn Dan, you're moving I, on as well. I am not super um What am I doing here? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Kept telling me to push AQ though. Oh, okay. Good job. Uh, I, yeah, I, I did it. Yeah, you did so good. All you did was jump on the spring. That's exactly what you need to do. But what do you get here? A thousand uh -oh. points. Well, Corn Dan, that was the worst prize you could have gotten. Isn't it? Yeah, Dan got two extra lives. Well, I don't need those two extra lives. I, I mean, because I'm just going to waste them anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, as it turns out, this company actually uh, made another Kusa Grande game that we've seen, Shi uh, Tiang Ku Jing, or Journey to the West. Uh, we've had multiple sort of Monkey King games on Kusa Grande. That one, I think, is actually better than the bootleg Monkey King that I know and love. Uh, it, it's strange, because there are a lot of bootleg games that have come out... Uh, like, from these various companies that, uh, are from China or Taiwan that, you know, it, with a little bit more work, they could have possibly been released as, uh, actual games for, you know, with a Nintendo seal of quality. And this game is actually relatively close, I would say. Like, it I, I, has I flaws. Worse Nintendo games. Oh yeah, Kid Cool. Hear, uh, yep. Hear that? Yeah, uh, so this company was in fact Chinese. Uh, they were named Xiao Tian Kai, which I did not say that right. It means small genius. Uh, and they made a lot of apparently Famicom clone consoles. Uh, that were sold all over the place, especially not in the U.S. or Japan. These swamps are kind of rude. And apparently you only get like three continues. <gasps> and some of their consoles were sold under the Dendi brand. Oh, baby. I know Dendi. Oh, no, there are limited continues. Well, there are limited continues. I'm guessing Dan the Enigma is going to figure that out in a little bit. Real soon, yeah. So yeah, those extra lives will probably actually be valuable if you're able to get them after the first stage. Yeah. Uh, Dan the Enigma definitely has a decent weapon right now. I believe he's got the one is that the shoots. One that just goes straight. Let me see. 
Nah, he's got the two, uh, the the two balls. Uh, the one that goes straight is definitely, probably the way to go. Not gonna lie. I don't know. And mostly because, like the the, the arcing one with the two balls, is like pretty safe. Relatively, no. I mean, yeah, compared to. Games like Fester's Quest, it is actually a worthwhile arc. Yeah. Good old Fester's Quest. Okay, it looks like Dan the Enigma may be through level two. Corn Dan. There, there's a boomerang. Oh, nice. I think. That one might, the, the boomerang might be the, um, the best compromise. I like it. Okay, Corndan killing the hand with it... two lightning bolts. Yeah, I'm not gonna... And there we go, Den the Enigma is past level two, moving on to level three. Uh, honestly, you know, at, at this point, he's probably gonna get game over at some point in the near future, and... Uh, like, staying patient enough to actually get back into the match is going to be, I, I think, one of the main challenges here. Wow, this boomerang was good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just the screen transitions are killing me every the, time. The screen transitions are the worst. Like, the rest of it, not so bad not so great oh yeah it's got problems but it's okay but the screen transitions so i i think the reason that i found this was because it was done uh there there were some youtube videos of this game i was looking for bad games back in the day and found this uh -huh. and uh it was basically whenever you go and look for crappy avgn-esque videos you can find some amazing games because the commentary yeah. is always terrible, but... And, and it's always people just swearing about the game. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so much swearing. Uh, but it's a good way to actually find games. Just look at the crappy videos because there are tons of games that uh, didn't become popular, uh, even though, you know, they're objectively pretty bad in ways. Yeah, this game is... I, I will give it credit. Um, it has ideas. Oh, I like this that music. Are mostly um, implemented. Right, and, like... Yeah. Um, it's not super good. In fact, it's pretty awful. But... Kind of awful in, like, predictable ways. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, like you have to, you, you have to basically stop like multiple tiles before you want to stop. Yeah, it seems a little bit slippery. Oh my gosh! So the company that did this specific release, uh, they're named Gluck Video, and they use their mascot for the main character in it. Uh, I guess they liked this game enough that they're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and use him. Uh, so so they used him uh, as their main character. They were uh, the the publisher for tons of other games. They, they published some other games by Micro Genius and Idea Tech, uh, Policeman, Puzzle. Uh, I actually do not recognize a lot of their games, though, but they do have a game called Bookie Man. Oh, yeah? yeah? <gasps> no, it's Brush Roller. I hate that game. Uh, we actually well, we actually well, have uh, an emote of that in Discord. We? Yeah, I'm going to share it in chat because people are people are going to recognize this. Yeah, that right there. It's terrifying. Well, I can't exactly check it during a match. Well, too bad, Corn Dan. Uh, 
and I actually think that I have this game on one of my handheld consoles uh, from Data East. It, I was gonna say, is it the bad Data East console? I mean, I have two of them, and they have different games, so yeah, probably. With that said, this is probably the best of the games that they released. Like, they, they released a Magic Carpet 1001, which is a crappy shoot 'em up auto scroller. Uh, yeah. So, apparently, the whole reason this video game company, Gluck Video, was created was specifically to import unlicensed video games. Uh, Sounds like it. Yeah, the, the games were released in the 72-pin NES format, while the clone systems were made to be compatible with NES carts instead of the Famicom carts. Uh, so, that's a little bit rough. Yeah, it, it's interesting. They also made their own NES clones. Uh, Thunder Warrior really is the only thing that they changed at all from the original version. Uh, putting their mascot in there. So that's cool. Good job. These swamps are, are pretty mean, right? They take like three units of health. It's pretty awful. Oh, jeez. And Gluck Video, their website is still up. Can you buy these on their website? Let me see if you can. Uh, it talks about the history there, uh, the games, models, materials, all games list. Let me see. I'm taking a look. Uh, you might be able to. Gluck the Thunder Warrior, they have listed between 60 and 150 euros, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that I'm, I'm just looking at this. This does not actually look like it was made by the company itself. I'm yeah, I, I have a feeling they just slapped their name on it. Yeah, that's fair enough. Which 150 euros though for, for an original inbox unlicensed game, I guess is not too surprising. Like, I mean, how often are you going to be able to get a boxed bootleg game, huh? Here, let, let's put let's put it in the other the other side of things. How often would you want to? Always, Corn Dan. Always. Yeah, so the the reason it did well in Spain, their console as well as the games, it sold uh, for half the price of the original NES, uh, which is good. Nintendo did sue them for unfair competition uh, on the imports there, and apparently they probably got destroyed. Uh, but they started showing up again in 2005. Uh, let's see. The interest for the brand grew up after stating that the games were not pirated, but unlicensed. That is, original games published legally in Spain. And it caused a gluck bubble, quote-unquote. That's kind of scary. Uh, by the collectors around the world that caused a high rise on prices. Uh, so there are some games that are over 300 euro. Uh, apparently, though, the demand has gone down because people who wanted the game already got the games. So, oh, oh this boss that Dan is fighting. I remember Skull Demon. This is a little, 
a little bit rough, but Dan has a really nice bubble attack that I don't think is actually hitting ever. Uh, it's a pretty precise area that you have to hit the boss with. Aha! As far as I can see, Gluck has actually released a game in 2017. It's called Commando de Lobos, or Strike Wolf, and that is a clone of the game Operation Wolf. Why would you... I'm just trying to think, why would you release a game for sale? In 2017, for the, like, Famicom. Why not? I don't know. It's weird. If by it's... weird you mean... I, I mean, Wisdom Tree did it recently. Yeah, but here's the deal. That wasn't just, like, stealing somebody else's game and changing it. You know, Wisdom Tree actually had a business model. Called, hey... Everybody knows all of our crap. We'll go ahead and sell it to you again. Hey, Dan managed to get through the boss and has found the third piece of the puzzle. Meanwhile, Corn Dan may be soft locked. Uh, yeah, Corn Dan! Like Corn Dan! Wait, wait, let's see if uh, magic will do it. Nope. Corn Dan! You need to not do that. Honestly, though, that's part of the reason that I chose this game, because softlocks are I very am, like, possible. I am amazingly super stuck. Yeah, I, I've gotten softlocked in this game multiple times, uh, and it is definitely rough. Corn Dan resetting. We're, we're going to blame that for why I'm awful. <laughs> it's uh, oh. That's this game. By the way, this game does have continues, but they're limited. Uh, so, honestly, you know, Dan the Enigma is making a good push, but that doesn't mean that Corn Dan can't pass him at this point. Corn Dan, this still is looking to be one of the games where you might, like, actually Do lose awful. as a zombie. Yeah. That's weird. Like the first one. Does Dan the Enigma know continues are limited? As far as I'm aware, no. But I'm not sure. Oh, geez, these eyeballs. They really need to get some clear eyes, okay? Did I just give Corn Dan hints? No. No. I'm not going to save my flying anyway. Corn Dan already knows that their limited continues. I was the one that found it out. Good job, By Corn Dan. Experimentation. See, I, I think that... here Here's the deal. We probably put too much stress on you as a zombie. You know? Yeah, that's why I'm doing so bad. Yeah. Okay, Corn Dan. Just think. Actually, okay, I'm not going to say anything rude, but I was really leaning towards being rude right there. <gasps> Dan is getting a full game over. Uh-oh, this is opening up your chance, Corn Dan. I don't think it is, but, but we'll go with it. Well, Corn Dan is currently on level one, and Dan the Enigma will be there in just a minute. See, see, Faisu's Fai got a good point. I only do well when nothing matters, but now my reputation of king of nothing mattering is on the line, so that's why I'm doing terrible. So it matters. Yeah. But by mattering, it doesn't matter, right? No, it definitely matters. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Corn Dan. I shouldn't have been hyping how good you are when it doesn't matter. I know. Totally, I, I think it's all of our faults. Does anyone speedrun this game? Asks Kessinchu. You know, I wouldn't be too surprised. Let me let me take a quick look because this game is actually relatively competent, especially for an unlicensed video game. This is like super solid. 
Like, I would say it, this is... As far as the bootlegs go, it's better than most. Heck, it's even better than, like, Bible Adventures. Wisdom Tree could have taken a page out of the book. It looks like there are, in fact, some speedruns out there. So, yeah, it has been done. Uh, what is the fastest time? I'm not 100% sure. I don't believe it's actually on speedrun.com, but there are some videos on YouTube. I'm also very good at getting the worst possible score on the bonus. Why, Corn Dan? I don't know. Oh my gosh. So sad. Uh, Kiss and Chew, because there are no runs on speedrun.com, it is a free world record. You don't have to tell other people that there might be runs on YouTube, you know? You know, at least you got a thousand points and not, like, zero points. That's good. Ooh, I feel like Dan, the Enigma, is actually starting to get to the point where he is a little bit frustrated. Uh, and I think the biggest reason is that, you know, he knows that he needs to conserve lives at this point. But unfortunately, that also means going a little bit slow, especially in the beginning. Uh in order to conserve health and lives. Corndan, on the other hand, you've had plenty of experience with level one, so you you know ways to get yeah. through where you can damage boost or where you should uh, like be especially careful. And there goes Dan the Enigma, taking a death. How oh, good, this game is only 150 euros. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I almost made it through the evil teeth. I did find an article talking about this on uh, Game FAQ, specifically the company. They said, I can't find a reason for Gluck video on internet. Do you have an answer? A reason for I, Gluck I, I, video? I, I'm, I'm not sure that that's a question. You know what? Let's go to Yahoo questions. Or uh, answers. Yahoo... And I'm going to look up Gluck and see what it says. Okay. After water drains from sink, it makes annoying Gluck, Gluck, Gluck sound. That is somehow still more appropriate than... And one of the answers says, check the air vent. And I'm a little bit concerned if your sink has an air vent. Oh my gosh. This is... Well, I mean, it has, like, an overflow relief vent. I mean, like, the bathroom sink does. Yeah. The tub does. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I mean, this wasn't your kitchen sink, right? This is your sink. You don't know which sink you're talking about. Good. Yeah, that that's a... That's a good point. Oh, this other question was about funny Facebook photo album name ideas. They said, me and my friends went to Disney and we were all really drunk and I wanted some funny slash unique album name ideas. Thanks. You know, that sounds like a great question for the internet to answer on Yahoo Answers. Uh, and the best answer is Gluck, Gluck, Glab, Glab, Fun, Underscores, Fun at Disneyland. 
I don't even know. Well, okay, I'm I'm gonna leave Yahoo Answers. I don't think I'm getting any help on this game from there. I don't think you are, no. Oh, how about this question? Chemistry essay due tomorrow? You are science and technology field reporter for the local TV station. One, describe the sample using the terms mixtures, solution, suspension, and heterogeneous or homogeneous. Two, explain why the water needs to be cleaned before drinking. Three, explain the procedures that uh, Drill em Deep is going to use to clean the... Uh, the water with introduction and conclusion. I feel like this is asking for plagiarism That it's just asking them to write an essay so the, What does What does Miriam Webster define? Oh my gosh, whatever it is. <laughs> no, I'm done. No No, I'm not grading papers right now. I'll read up all of that later. Hey, by the way, Dan the Enigma is through level one again. I think that level two, once you know what's going on, is a little bit easier. <gasps> as long as you, you um, store your health, right, essentially damage booth where you have the two, like, horizontal evil teeth. What? The two, the two thwomps, you know, that oh. like, you're going to take damage. Oh, there. yeah. So, um... Okay, hearing level 3 music for the first time... Okay, it's not as good. It kind of hurts. Okay, level 1 had okay music. Level 2, awesome music. Oh, this is not good. Oh, by the way, the... Uh, uh, there was a response to the person essentially asking Yahoo Answers to write an essay for them. And so the best answer showed up as, explain what sample? Gluck. That's literally it. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna have any hope here. Get off Yahoo Answers, uh, no. What else am I gonna do? Like, we, we've seen the level that Dan and Corn Dan are on. Like, I, I'm not sure. Oh no, the know. double tooth. It got Dan. Yeah, I know, it's the worst. It's pretty bad. Well, that's okay. Corn Dan is currently doing the loading animation. I kind of want to yeah. take my headphones off right now. This is really loud and annoying. I do not like this uh, music. I, I have it turned way down in my headphones. Good. Like, level one and level two, great music. But this barely even counts. Pay attention to the match list art. Wow. Who Liz do you think you uh, are? Many... Who do you think I am? This doesn't know how we operate here. Yeah, it's like the song goes. Water on the knee. Operation. A Charlie horse, it's true. Operation. I'm the doctor for you. <laughs> Corn Dan, I'm the doctor for you, okay? Especially since you're an alien. Well... I feel like something. anyone can be an alien doctor. Like, as long as you have a bone saw, you're gonna do just fine. The alien's not gonna do fine, but, you know, we don't know about alien biology. That's gonna be more helpful than anyone else. So far, I, I find that against these skeletons, right? That big, like, ball, right, the, like, the boomerang ball thing, totally yeah. the way to go. 
Yeah, you can <laughs> use a bone saw on things that aren't bones. Just ask a lot of people in horror saw. movies. <laughs> or bone saw. You could ask Bone Mom. I mean, bone saw is ready. Oh, yeah. Actually, maybe just give the alien the alien a Tylenol, you know, see if that clears whatever it's got up. Take Tylenol, stupid alien, and call me in the morning. I'm cool with that. I'd give that a shot. Yeah, okay. Here, I'm a better alien doctor than I was about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> Sounds legit. I like that, as an alien, you're going and killing ghosts and skeletons. What's your well, motivation? I mean, why Why are you even here? Because if I beat this stupid game, I'll be done. Oh, okay. Chat is funny. Chat, you're all funny. I'm laughing. Ha! <laughs> Why are we still here? Uh, we're here, like, okay, everybody who's just joining, by the way, Dan the Enigma, uh, was going to be racing Poltergeist, but unfortunately, Poltergeist, uh, became a ghost. Okay, not really. His computer exploded, so he's been unable to have matches for essentially a full month. Uh, because of that, we just had to move on. Uh, but honestly, we still wanted Dan the Enigma to struggle at least a little bit. So now we've got th uh, Gluck the Thunder Warrior that Dan and Corn Dan are playing. Corn Dan is here just to be our zombie. I am. You're a good zombie. You're my favorite. I try to be a good zombie. Not really a high mark to beat, though, you know? I mean, are there any zombies better than you? Really? Oh yeah, Pfizer. Pfizer's a good zombie. I, I forgot about that zombie. I'm actually the zombie as uh, what we do, or in the movie what we do in the shadows. That's probably one of the best zombies out there. I mean, he's pretty civil. He only tries to eat, like, one or two people's brains during the course of the movie. It's good. You know, he had to learn self-control. And that's hard when you don't have a brain. True. Is this, like, scuffed ghosts and goblins? Hmm. You know, it does bear some resemblance, but... Honestly, I would say that the controls are extremely different. Ghosts and Goblins has very stiff controls. This has very slippery controls. Uh, I'd say that that's probably the biggest difference, honestly. Also, this is more forgiving when it comes to health. Oh, I love the boss music, Corn Dan. I forgot. I'll stop talking. a very tight hitbox for this boss. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, one thing that I just love about this, you did not hear it very much in the NES times, that uh, when you go and start the boss, the music is slow and then speeds up later. And it, it's just a fun little touch that they did. 
Let's see. Yep. Sorry, I just really love that change in the music. It's just so good, Corn Dan. Yeah, the un the unfortunate thing is that this boss takes a lot of hits, but then again, you have a lot of health, so it kind of makes sense. There we go. Wow, you did a really good job there, Corndan. Very nice fight. It's actually easier with the base, like, whatever you have, because it arcs down so you can stay further back. Oh, yeah. You get another puzzle piece. Wow, this is not a very difficult puzzle. Let me just tell you. No, it's not. Okay, Dan the Enigma getting the second puzzle piece. Now, remember, Dan is technically in the lead due to beating the boss and getting a decent way through this next level. But Corndan is actually starting to catch up. Uh, let's see. You get 5,000 points. I know. You did so good. <laughs> oh, and Dan the Enigma just got two up. We I know think... that this game's cheating for Dan. It's not, it's not giving me any favors. Well, I didn't mean to hit that, but... Well, I mean... It, it happens. Oh, you mean the lightning spell? How, yeah. how do you cast lightning in this? It's up and jump. Yeah, that's a little bit odd. I, I think that... It would be easy to make the mistake uh, and do that. I don't. I, I don't understand why either. Because I think up and attack is the same as just attack. No, I don't know. They both do it. Oh, ah! I tricked ya. <laughs> looking, at, looking at you, making me use my magic. Yeah. See, uh, I gotta play the meta game. The meta game of is Corndan always going to win as a zombie? We'll find out. I don't know how much time we even have. I haven't been checking anything. We have just about 15 minutes left. Yeah, whoever wins, Dan loses. That is true, Pfizer. Thank you. That means that <laughs> no matter what, Dan is a loser. That's me, no Corn Dan. We love you. Oh, who said it was going to be me? It's going to be the loser. Well, because it, it, you're it Dan. Be you know, honestly, it still is completely up in the air, and no matter who wins, Dan is a winner. That and a loser. Wow, aren't we all? Sort of like describes life right there. Ooh, very nice lightning bolt move by Corndan right there, using it right as yeah. an eyeball entered the hallway. Little little less good right after, but you know. But you know. Also, I'm not completely sure because it looks like Dan the Enigma sometimes gets a speed up, and I'm not sure why. <gasps> oh, oh, you can hold down the run button. There's a run button. Oh, that's right, and the game's unplayable if you do that. Right. So I think that at this point, Dan the Enigma is still a little bit in the lead, not by a whole lot. Ooh, come on, hit the skelly with your orb. What was that? I think it was because Dan was running. Uh, it looked like he clipped through a platform into the water below and died. Look. Chad is saying that they respect Gluck's decision to not wear pants. He's like the the Donald Duck of the cartoon world, okay? Y 
you absolutely do not need pants to be a cartoon Who says character. Who not wear pants now? Yeah, actually. Like, Streamers don't need to wear pants. It's true. Do you, actually, I always wear pants, shorts, or... Well, one of those two when I stream. I just feel uncomfortable not wearing pants during streams. I just, I, I, I would feel weird, okay? I'd feel very uncomfortable. I'm like, sitting there, trying to play bad video games, and what would happen? I'd be like, I don't have pants on. What am I even doing right now, you know? If I wanted to go get a burrito after the stream, I'd have to put pants on, and that's so inconvenient, okay? Just have pants on already. It looks like Dan just got a game over. Oh yeah, like a full game over? Uh, that was a full game over. He just typed in Discord, I'm good to tap out here since I don't know if I'm going to get that progress. And I just said, technically, you can still get back. <laughs> yep. He's given it one more attempt. Yes, Dan, that's what I love to see in a match where, honestly, you have no stakes whatsoever. No, no, look, as soon as the stakes don't matter and I probably can't make it all the way back there, it gives me two up. Ah. Corn Dan, the Actually, game loves you. With 12 minutes left, I probably could get back there. I think. I think you could. Yeah, 12 minutes left. Honestly, I still think it's possible for Corn Dan, the zombie, to take the victory, although I don't know. I don't know. Dan the Enigma has done pretty dang good. Like, honestly, uh, you know, I'm just thinking about it. This would probably be your strongest or, like, the strongest play against you as a zombie so far. I would agree with that. I love that you, like, if you run off a ledge, you can do two jumps in the air instead of just one. Did you know that, Corn Dan? I did not. Yeah, Dan the Enigma has been doing that quite a bit on his side. Did uh, you get your regular jump? Yep, you get your regular jump, which you didn't use on the ground, and then your bonus jump. It's it's strange. It's not something that like I would have expected to show up in a game. I've never. I don't think I've ever seen it in a game before, but, you know, we've got it in this one. Now, where Dan the Enigma is, is actually a place where I softlock quite a few games. You just, or uh, quite a few times, you just have to take it slow. Honestly, neither of the players managed to softlock like I did back when I was playing this, though, so we're doing great. Oh, Corn Dad, the spiders, they want your blood. You're an alien. I don't even know if you have blood. I, I'm sure aliens have blood. Are you sure? Well, Do they no. have freaking Osmosis Jones running around in their blood? They might. Actually, probably more so than humans, yeah. Uh-oh, double tooth time. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to make it, but I was going to try. It happens. Oh, he does cough up blood when he dies. Yeah, chat, chat is right. But to be fair, like, iron is a really convenient way to uh, get oxygen around to the different cells. And, you know, if Gluck breathes oxygen, it would make sense that he has red blood. I'm just trying to come up with excuses for sure. Glux's existence. D 
Dan is currently trying to deal with the teeth. I mean, At least the teeth are a big pain in the butt. Yeah, they really are. Uh, at least they're more realistic than the teeth in Osmosis Jones, though, I have to say that. That's fair. I'm trying to think. Is there... Because... For organic life here on Earth... Pretty much everything that is alive has some sort of liquid going through it. Is there any sort of life that could get away with not having a liquid? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, I think that... Uh, I think that everything would have to have some sort of fluid at the least. You know, blood for us... Alien juice for the aliens. If he bleeds lightning, he might bleed lightning. Jellyfish don't have liquid as far as we know. They're basically just in they're liquid. Just liquid. I think jellyfish are some of the dumbest creatures like in existence. I don't know though. Yeah, I'd say if it's not carbon based, uh, then it might be able to get away with not having a liquid. But even then, I think that uh, to transport anything, it would either have to be a fluid or a gas, and gas is very unlikely to be something. Unless the life form happened to run at, like, 500 degrees, you know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe certain forms of life just have a super high temperature. Maybe. Who knows? Well, I don't. Guess what? NASA hasn't don't. built my spaceship yet to go to different planets. They're like, we have real projects to work on. <sighs> my mom's are always circulating gases. Wow, chat. Wow. Well, I mean, you eat a lot of burritos. That could mean you circulate a lot of gases. I was going to say, my mom doesn't eat that many burritos, but... <laughs> like, okay. I don't think we're actually circulating any gases right now. We're circulating oxygen molecules that are attached to blood cells. Oh, okay. I think if I could time the jumps on this level so I always hit ghosts, I think I could damage boost through most of this level. You might be out. able to. Like, they don't deal... Well, it, like, the ghosts deal one damage. Right? The floating balls do three. Corndan chat's bullying me. Well, you deserve it. What? You're... A zombie's bullying me, too? Oh, my gosh. That's my job as a zombie. Ugh, why would people do this? I, I thought that's why you brought me on to, to do commentary. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much why we have you, Corndan. Which, by the way, uh, everybody watching, I want to give a huge shout-out to all the people who have been volunteering. Uh, the GMs, uh, Kate, for being our fantastic uh, referee-slash-scheduler expert here. Uh, all of the moderators here, like... Crazy Sunshine as well for running the Twitter account. Honestly, I, um, it's been huge help. Did, did you know if you hit up A and B at the same time, you reset? <laughs> Are you serious? Yep. Well, okay, don't do that. Oh, oh I did that. <laughs> Dan, into the water. Okay, now we know. 
Well, Dan is still getting a pretty good push and might be able to fight the boss again. Yeah, uh, honestly, uh, you know, I I know that people want to get involved with Cusa Grandes previously and bringing on the GMs to help. Uh, I feel like it absolutely changed how things were going. It's extremely helpful for me. Uh, it makes me happy that there, there are some players or some of the GMs who are willing to actually play through the games and suffer for an hour. And... Uh, you know, I hope that I hope that it ends up being fun for everybody who's involved. That's my biggest hope, that you enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Good. Now, now I'm gonna try to reproduce whatever whatever I did that, that killed me or um rebooted on me. Yeah, is it not working right now? Of course not. But the, so, game, the game completely reset on me. Oh, it did, yeah. Right as I was making good progress, too. So whatever I did to crash the game sent me back to the beginning. And you can't crash the game anymore. Yep. You're immune! Well, that's Let's see cool. how far we can get, though, in... You know, like, two the, minutes. The minute and a half we have left. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. I can totally make it back, guys. If not for the stupid jump on the spring and do the bonus game, then maybe you could. Maybe, actually... But yeah, this part is just, it's absolutely not needed, okay? Developers of this unlicensed NES video game. Uh, and I was why making would you good progress in, in, in level three there too. Right, I'd have made it back to the boss, no problem. Oh yeah. Wow. Dan, the Enigma, actually did a pretty cool strat getting through that level. He, uh kept doing double jumps to jump over the ghost. He had to backtrack in order to do some of that. Now he gets to fight this lovely little boss here who has a few too many arms. And a few too many skulls, to be honest. I, I mean, to be honest, right, I would... You, you want you want the, the fancy um, big ball anyway for the, like, the skeletons and stuff in that level, right? Yeah. Um, so I would probably just damage boost and take the death on the boss anyway, because then you can get the arcing ball, and that one does, like, way better job against... Well, Dan the Enigma has just gotten through the boss again, and it is time. That is it. That is the game, and I never got rid of the listing of the music at the top of the stream today. Welcome to my life. Whatever. Whatever. You can deal with it. It was just playing Cybernoid music the entire time, and you didn't even know. Eh. You didn't even know, everybody. That's how subtle it was. Well, guess what? Dan the Enigma won both by default as well as... You know, during the competition against Corn Dan, he did a fantastic job here. I, I believe, you know, I will let our ref go ahead and officially decide on that. I'm just going to sit here and keep playing. Yeah, keep playing. Go ahead. Uh, it looks like. All right, we have Dan the Enigma here. Hello, Dan. Hey. Hey! That wasn't the worst thing I've ever played. Yeah. Shockingly enough. I know, right? It's not good, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's weird. It's like a very... It's a mixed bag. <laughs> like, yep. I've definitely played better, obviously. I've, oh, yeah. But I've definitely played worse on Kuso. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, didn't, yeah. I, I didn't hate it. I think that's the best thing I could say. I didn't hate it. So, per Kate... I'm not sure I liked it, though, either. But I didn't hate it. Per yeah. Kate, you won about a finger's length further 
than Corn Dan did. Essentially, you both got to the same place, but you were pixels ahead, and because of that, you uh, do get the victory for sure. Magic pixels, baby, yeah! I, I, I'm just more upset that it, 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 it reset on me. Yo, how, okay, someone told me you got soft locked in stage two. What happened there? I clipped into a box. Basically, nice. uh, yeah, some of the boxes that you see around that you can break, you can somehow wedge yourself between those and the ceiling and you're soft locked if that happens and you can't and break the box. Oh, wait, what did you, did you have like, what was your weapon? Was it like that ball or whatever? Yeah, it, it was like the, like the ball that... that just goes like that, the arcing ball. But the problem was when you were in that box, you couldn't. Oh, you couldn't uh, like, what did it just like clip in the wall and just phase out? Yeah. Oh, or, I see. Or it would, um, it would, uh, be like super, um, high and like bounce above you and then oh, not yeah. hit the box. And then somehow I managed to clip into the box further and I couldn't even do anything. Oh, and so yeah. like I tried to hit like the magic thunder. Oh yeah, cause that doesn't and, actually and... break the box. Well, it, but it didn't do the magic thunder either. I just turned colors and sat there. And then that soft lock became a hard lock. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I... Also, Corndan, I'm not exactly sure how he managed to do it, but he made the game reset itself. Uh, yeah, he huh. ran into all of the problems with this. <laughs> yep. Wow. It was I'm... beautiful. Huh. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, you know, I'm glad that you really enjoyed this because when I played this, like, enjoyed, quote-unquote, more so than other games, like, when I played this, when I found it, I was like, you know, this this is unlicensed, you know, it wasn't officially released anywhere except uh, somehow got a Spanish release from a company that just published on licensed games anyways uh you know i played it i was like this isn't too bad honestly i think with a little bit of polish it could have been like a legit release somewhere yeah this game yeah if it like it, it needed a lot of touch-ups but like as is it's not terrible it de yeah it definitely needs a like a bit of balancing and like a lot of touch-ups like some of those enemies, like that, those eyeball boulders in the for, in the so, in stage stupid. four, those things suck. Those things yeah, do shot oh, you. Oh yeah, they're bad. Can you even kill them? Like I, those thwomps, I, those thwomp look alike, or like yeah, I guess the, three, the best way to describe like, three damage a piece. No way. But, like they're the yeah, worst. Those, those thwomps that were in stage two, one of them was like the one. There was the one bit where like you had to go, you had to avoid the two that were coming from the left and the right. That one, that was a really pain in the ass jump. Because you oh, had to yeah. time that so right. So what that I just started doing on, on that one, right, was just playing it a little bit safer early on. So I knew I had at least four health there. And then just damage boosting through them. Because oh. there was a health right after that. Yeah. Oh, also, I found out about halfway in you could run in this game, so. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I didn't, I didn't even realize it until like my first act, my first full game over. It's like, it, wait, it actually there, makes, I can run. <laughs> it actually makes a big difference on um, the third stage because if yeah. you play how you get, um, how you do damage boost. Because I'm still sitting here playing this because at this point in time, I'm trying to make up for you know, like the fact that I got, um, you know, random like hard locked into soft lock into to rebooting. Right when I could have maybe made progress. Yeah. Because um, that stage three was like super, like super bullet hell ish. I guess there was like just so many enemies. Oh yeah. And, like those those blue bladed disc things that came around the halfway mark. Those things are also terrible. They fuck. They all. Or sorry. They also take. Wow. Like half. Wow. Sorry. They call it call it myself for <laughs> said it, but you, sorry. Uh, but they take off another three. And that's just, they come in so fast. Oh, also, they bad, do. I know you don't. I know you don't oh, I'll like live. To, to I'll swear. live. <laughs> the yeah, the so. babies just are crying now. That's all. We'll, 
we'll live. That's okay, if we're, we're to maintain our PG-13 rating. I get one, right? <laughs> yeah, you get one. There, yeah. you had it. <laughs> yeah! Okay, well, I, I think that it's just about time for us to go. Any any last thoughts? Um, I just wish we actually, me and Corn, or not Corn in, me and Poltergeist could have actually had our match. I feel, I feel bad about it, but honestly, you know, these things happen. Uh, yeah. I'm just hoping he's able to find the computer defibrillator for the future and uh, hopefully bring it back to life. <laughs> Clear. I'm, just, I'm just mad because if I hadn't reset, I'd have made it past where I died. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You you may have taken the victory, corn Dan. Not but, that it would matter for you, but uh, yeah, you could have. My, my reputation would have been intact. Reputation. Ah, it's okay. You know what? Let your reputations fly out the window, because this is Cusa Grande. Thank you both for playing today. I'm really glad that we were able to have this. Just so everybody knows, for this weekend, here's what to expect. 8 a.m. Uh, Mountain, that'll be 10 a.m. your time. I'm going to be hosting, or 10, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to be hosting the, the video game marathon charity marathon uh first for life so if you want to stop by there and watch some weird games that'll be fun uh 2 p.m eastern we are having more kusagrani matches we have four and then at about 10 or 12 p.m eastern i don't remember exactly i'm running xena for uh that charity marathon that's happening so that's what my day looks like tomorrow be sure to stop on by everybody it this will be is, a blast this is all going down on your channel uh some of it won't i'll i'll talk about it on twitter though so i'll put links there for everybody all right. okay all right for now let's raid pete door do we have a good raid message i'm i'm trying to think uh um I have no idea. Thunder Warriors ho! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder Warriors ho! Ho! I got nothing. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and raid him. Spam, I'll stop talking because he'll be very confused about that. Thank you, everybody, and see you around tomorrow. Take care, Corn Dan. Take care, Dan. Later, dude. Bye. Thanks for, Bye. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Later. <laughs>